At the Laboratory of Intelligent Systems at the EPFL in Lausanne, Switzerland, we are designing a swarm of microair vehicles capable of autonomously establishing emergency wireless networks in disaster areas. Inspiration for the deployment, maintenance, and retraction of the swarming MAV network, or SMAVnet, is taken from army ants which are able to lay and maintain pheromone paths leading from their nests to food sources in nature. In a similar manner, we wish to lay and maintain communication pathways between a base node and users in the environment. In our scenario, 15 MAVs are launched from a base node at the bottom of the screen, and a single user is positioned to the north of this base node. MAVs can be of two types, node MAVs which are shown in red, or ant MAVs which are shown in green. Node MAVs represent the environment on which pheromone can be virtually deposited and sensed from through local communication. Local communication is depicted by the gray lines between the agents of the system. To maintain their position in the environment, node MAVs turn on the spot by describing circles of approximately 10 meters in radius. Ant MAVs, on the other hand, navigate through the grid formed by the node MAVs based on received pheromone information from node MAVs within communication range. While advancing throughout the grid, ant MAVs virtually deposit pheromone on neighboring node MAVs. Lost MAVs perform a spiral until fully reconnected to the network. When an ant MAV reaches a position in the grid which is not occupied, it becomes a node MAV and subsequently fills the hole in the network. The amount of virtual pheromone on each node MAV is decremented over time until entirely evaporated, at which point these node MAVs become ant MAVs, navigate back to the base node and redeploy as if newly launched. To prevent the network from splitting, node MAVs which are critical for the maintenance of the network receive additional pheromone deposits. Once the connection between the base node and user has been established, it must be maintained until the communication is interrupted by the users. Node MAVs, which are positioned along the shortest top route from the base to the user, receive an increase in pheromone. This is similar to the mechanism whereby army ants deposit higher amount of pheromone when carrying food to signal successful paths in nature. After 30 minutes, the communication between the base and user is terminated. As a result, the pheromone on each node MAV will evaporate and these MAVs will become ant MAVs and retract to the base node where they will be told to land through a message broadcasted by the base node. In the end, we are able to design highly dynamic network deployments, maintain the communication pathways between the users and retract the SMAVnet using a swarm algorithm inspired from army ants.